Snow canceled schools across the Commonwealth today, but once the roads cleared, hundreds of teachers were joined by state workers to take a stand against the latest pension proposal. LAX 18's Conroy Deleuze reports on the very vocal pension pushback in Frankfurt. The time to be on the sidelines is over. Teachers and state workers arrived in Frankfurt in cars and buses, carrying signs made of box lids and worn out poster boards. It's gotten a little raggedy over the last few days. <laughs> the battle to protect their pension started months before the current legislative session. Governor Matt Bevin has repeatedly said that Kentucky has the worst pension system in the country. But Senate Bill 1, despite saving taxpayers $3 billion over 20 years, would also have to cut some state workers' benefits. Usually I'm not real vocal like this, but this has really struck a nerve with me. It's embarrassing what our senators and representatives are want, and our governor are trying to do to education. I come from a long line of educators, and this not only affects my pension, but my mother's, my aunt's, my uncle's, and my dad's. The people united will never be divided. While livelihoods are at stake, educators say this is about love for their job and their students. I went into this work not because I was going to make a lot of money, but because I knew that I was going to have insurance and I was going to have a pension down the road. Many state employees also reminding those in the Capitol they will not forget their vote come November. Covering the news in Frankfurt, Conroy Deluche, LAX 18 News. Senate Bill 1 was sent back to committee last week and a new proposal is still being worked on.